I am so this, I am so that, I am unworthy, I'm not a good mom. You know, this comes from the devil. And and if I may, I've come to realize that self-hatred can also stem from pride. You know, I am so this, I am so, it's too self-focused. Denying self is being others focus. And I've come and from my personal experience, when I focus too much on myself, I start hating myself. I need to keep my eyes on the one who is perfect, on the one whose righteousness I can claim for myself. Self-hatred can come from pride. Self-hatred is a part of the devil's condemnation. And once you're able to separate those two, once you're able to identify it, then you can rebuke it and you can surrender it to God and accept the conviction and the discipline of the Lord in your life. I can't be a people pleaser. I can say yes to things even if I really meant to say no. Um, but in... Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, it does say there that let your yeses be yes and your no be no, for whatever is more than this is from the evil one. First of all, I think you need to know your priorities. Um, and you got to have, you got to you gotta partner with the Holy Spirit with this. Um, you got to set your intentions with the Holy Spirit. Ask for his priority in your life. And you got to be, you got to have your non-negotiables for yourself. Because you got to set your, you got to set yourself apart. You got to be holy. You got to be able to manage your time well, you know. So if you have those, those internal boundaries that have, that you have set with the Holy Spirit, then and also remember this, Jesus said no. Jesus had healthy boundaries. He could have healed everybody. We know he could have, but in the Bethsaida, he healed one person. He had boundaries. He listened to the Father. And not every good thing you need to say yes to. Because if it distracts you from God's purpose in your life, then then that's not really that's not really something to say yes to you got to be able to discern these things and be wise and how do you become wise stay in the word stay abide in the word